architects would have said, well, you don't get land like that to build on anymore. And you didn't, because the conventional wisdom was you could give Pete Dye a swamp or a dump and he would turn it into something cool. And he did, remarkably, although, you know, even he got sick of trying to start from nothing and do the same thing, you know, get the same result over and over again to the point that he was willing to hire a bunch of young kids to go out and, you know, make a mess so he had something to work with. <laughs> <laughs> was kind of our approach. Uh, but, you know, I set, out, I set out to be in the niche of, you know, being a guy to call if you had a good piece of land to build a golf course. And everybody thought that was a crazy niche going in, and it's worked out really well. You know, the other thing, uh, you know, when I worked for Mr. Dye, everything was a tournament site. And, He's not a particularly uptight person, but, you know, he did have to be concerned with what the pros would say and, and how fast the greens would get because you could look really bad if the golf course was set up wrong for an event and it was on national TV and everybody saw it. Um, when I got on my own and my first course in Traverse City that Gil helped with a little bit, um, you know, the client said, well, what if we had a tournament? I could just laugh at him. I was like, you don't have $5 million to sponsor a tournament, so I don't have to worry about that. This is just for people to play golf. And that approach let me design wilder things because I didn't have to worry about it being too severe in tournament conditions. Of course, architect is in designing for themselves first. I can usually go and play. There was a, there was a course that Jim Rubino and I played a long time ago in New Mexico called Taco Ridge. It was built by Ken Dot. I'd never met Ken Dye, I didn't know anything about it. We played the first two, three holes, and on the third tee I said, this guy must be a really good player, because it looks like every tee shot is set up for a three yard draw. And it turns out Ken Dye is like a one handicap, he's won the ASGCA championship five times. Uh, you know, so, you, you know, Alistair McKenzie was not a great golfer, and probably did a fade, judging from the courses I've seen of his, and gave people more room to play golf, because that was his thing. I learned to build wide golf courses from Ben Crenshaw. Ben was a little erratic off the tee and had a great short piece. 